In this video, I'm gonna walk through some of the coolest things that I've come across in the AI space this week. Let's get into it. The first thing is that Microsoft Teams just introduced avatars. So people that are interested in being on team meetings but don't wanna actually show their face can switch their face to an avatar and uh, be a little bit shyer, I guess. You don't have to show your real face or you know, maybe you didn't do your hair or your room's messy or whatever. Use an avatar instead of a real person on your Microsoft Teams meetings. Now this next one you might have seen already because it's gone somewhat viral on Twitter. This one's called Uncle Rabbit and it's essentially a holographic frame with a little rabbit dude powered by GPT that you can have conversations with. Let's take a peek at this video here. Hey Uncle Rabbit, it's Nikki here. Oh, hello Nikki, it's great to see you. First off, I think this bunny's voice is absolutely hilarious. You see this cute little bunny and you don't expect this like deep man's voice coming from it, but let's go ahead and continue with the video here. What brings you hopping by today? Well, I was wondering if you could help me identify and finish the rest of the song. It goes like this. Home is where I wanna be. Pick me up and turn me around. Sure thing, Nikki. That's the Talking Heads classic. This must be the place. Here's the next line. I feel numb, born with a weak heart. Do you have anything else to add? Well, I could add a carrot or two to my snack, but seriously, <laughs> this must be the place is a great tune. It always puts a spring in my step. Anything else I can help you with, Nikki? So there you go, that's Uncle Rabbit. It's from a company called Looking Glass. You can learn more about them over at lookingglassfactory.com and you can specifically learn about Uncle Rabbit at lookingglassfactory.com slash Uncle Rabbit. You can see they actually sell these little hologram displays. Uncle Rabbit appears to be one that is programmed with GPT-4 to actually have conversations with you. So next up is Spline 3D. Now this one's in waitlist. I don't have access to it yet, but this is basically text to 3D object. Here's some examples. They're typing create a grid of eight cubes and it creates a grid of eight cubes. Modify objects, apply materials, add lighting and more, randomize the cubes. It randomized the cubes. Experiment and collaborate with your teammates and watch your creations come to life in real time. Add physics to the scene. And you can see all the cubes drop because there's now gravity physics. There's AI textures. So once you have a 3D model created, you can texture it. Here's some examples, tiles, grass, fire, AI, wood, concrete. And it says down here, how much do these AI features cost? While Spline AI is an alpha, AI prompt will be free to use for now. We will release this feature in the future with a cost. AI textures is included today in the super and super teams plan. So you can use the AI textures right now, but the AI prompting will be free while it's an alpha. So here's their demo. They type make 20 random random cubes and spheres. It makes a bunch of cubes and spheres. Move all the meshes up. You can see it lifted the meshes up. Rotate all the meshes randomly. You can see it rotated them randomly. Add physics to all the meshes. You can see they all just dropped because now they have physics. Make a golden star. It makes a golden star. Make it round. Add bevels. You can see it made it rounded the corners and added bevels to the edges. Make it spin fast. Now it's spinning. Make a car next to a tree. And then it makes a car next to a tree. It's doing all of this text prompt to 3D image inside of this spline tool. Add game controls to the car. What? Make all the spheres 100 width. Now it just changed all the spheres to the same size. Arrange all the spheres in a circle. Boom, it just put all the spheres in a circle around the word prompt. Make all the spheres pink. Make white text hello in font. Most AI art generators can't even do that right now. Replace all the spheres with cubes. Rotate the cubes. Use pastel ink color palette. Make all the cubes rotate. So pretty cool stuff. I've been waiting for a while to get text to actual 3D and this spline tool looks like this is getting the closest to what we actually imagine as text to 3D right now. And it can actually create 3D text and animate it and make game controls. All right, the next one is from this article on 80.lv. It says, Nvidia explained how ChatGPT can be used for 3D content generation. The company created an AI room generator extension in Nvidia Omniverse. So inside of this Nvidia Omniverse program, it basically generates this 3D room that you can sort of move the camera around and see different angles on, but he's drawing an area inside the room, came over to this generate room tab. He typed add common items that can be found in a warehouse and then click generate. It's thinking and now it added some pallets and some racks and a cardboard box. And it generated all of these various 3D objects inside of this room with the text prompt that he used over on the right here. He's zoomed out. He's drawing another square on the room floor here. 
to kind of give it the area of where he's gonna draw more stuff into it. He's renaming the area reception. This is our reception area where we greet customers at a front desk and they wait for their products in a comfortable lounge. He clicks the generate button and it generates some couches, a, like a coffee table, some chairs, a plant, I don't know, some sort of like TV stand, or I guess that's a reception desk. He's able to randomly swap out the couch with other items that would fit in that area. All of this is using Nvidia's Omniverse and another sort of text to 3D generator. There's an interesting article again that explains what is going on in this page. You can find it over at this URL. I'll make sure that I link it down in the description below. And then finally, the last thing I wanna show you is really cool. This is called opus.ai. You can find it over at opus.ai. And it says, our technology turns text into worlds. This is like a text to metaverse builder. If we come up here and watch the demo at the top, let's take a peek at what this can do. So they type this prompt, the hills rolled down in stepping motion covered with greenery. And you can see, boom, hills covered in greenery. Clusters of trees surrounded areas with the rest covered by lush green grass and bold flowers. Boom, trees, grass, flowers covered by fresh fallen snow. They just re replaced the words flowers with fallen snow by the fallen leaves of decaying fall. Now we've got fallen leaves. Now they type the recently built road abruptly came to a halt only furthering slightly in the two opposite directions near the end of left branch stood a detached garage alongside which was the small house with matching roofs. So they just typed this text and it generated this landscape here from all of this text. At the end of the narrow road, a much larger house with two floors stood alone and it just generated that house. The rest of the street was occupied with similar houses, some large, others small, most recently built. And it just adds a bunch more houses into the landscape. Driveways extended beside the house with a few vehicles parked idly. All right, now just put driveways with vehicles. Electric poles went through the neighborhood. Okay, just popped in these electric poles here. And you can see they're just typing in prompts over here on the right. And as they type in these prompts, it's just populating this world <laughs> as they're typing it. It added some trees to the neighborhood, mailboxes, shrubbery around white picket fences that just made it daylight. Now it just made a deserted town with a small cafe with benches and tables outside. And they just type more and more details and it further populates this town here. They added some trees growing, a flag, some light posts, and all of it's actually animated too. You can see that it's a windyish day with the trees blowing, the flags waving a little bit. There's actually a person walking down here now and they're just typing all of this and it's adding it to the scene on the screen. And then watch this. Now they're gonna actually zoom in on the scene here and you can see this is the girl walking around in the area. This is just some crazy, crazy technology that I know I can't wait to get my hands on and play around with it. Again, this one's called Opus AI. They have what they call the governance council, which you could join. But basically when you go to join, you're joining a waiting list. So you can enter your email and get on the waiting list to learn about the governance council. So this is one that's really cool, really exciting. But quite honestly, I have no idea how close we are to this actually coming out. But man, this is one that excites the hell out of me. So. That's just a handful of really cool tools that I came across this week that I thought you might find cool as well. So if you like this kind of stuff and you like nerding out about all this interesting AI and AR and virtual reality and cool 3D gadgetry and all the nerdy kind of stuff that I'm into, check out futuretools.io. This is where I curate all the cool tools that I come across. I'm adding new tools every day. You can sort them down to just what you're looking for. You wanna find just cool stuff related to gaming, click on gaming. There's a bunch of cool stuff related to gaming in here. And if there's just way too many tools and this is kind of over your head, join the free newsletter. Every single Friday, I send out an email and I give you the five coolest tools that I came across, a handful of news articles in the AI space, a handful of YouTube videos, and one cool way to make money with AI. It's the TLDR of what's going on in the AI space each week. It's totally free to join and you can find it all at futuretools.io. Thank you so much. And again, if you like nerding out with me about this stuff, give this video a little thumbs up -y because that'll make sure you see more videos like this in your feed. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That'll also help make sure you see more videos just like this one with a bunch of cool technology inside of your feed on YouTube. Thanks again for tuning in. Really appreciate you. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.